Hello YouTube, I'm Big Hour 1982 this is the Movie Reviewers 100. The collaboration channel here on YouTube that brings you themes each week. And this is my first video for 2014. Welcome you all to the channel to 2014. Apologise for my absence last week. A um, bit of a confusion of what week we were starting back. And uh, unfortunately I missed the uh, Peter O'Toole week, uh, the tribute week. Uh, a legendary actor um, who's done many many a great performances and he will always live on with for his uh, great films that he produced <clears throat> this week's theme is uh, Jake Gyllenhaal uh, a current actor of this generation who I think gives great performances all over from comedy roles to dramatic to action I think he has it all and I think he, he's definitely going to be a, a star for the ages and I think there's just more great films to come from Jake Gyllenhaal the film I'm going to talk to you today about is my favourite film of 20, 2011, uh, which sort of is uh, got mixed reviews and um, is a bit underrated in my opinion as well. I don't think you get as much talk as uh, it should do. And that is uh, Source Code. The basic uh, feel of this uh, Source Code is it's a mystery filler sci fi action film, which is sort of got a uh, the feel of a couple of films in my opinion uh, the facts of um, the speed element of there's a bomb and it has to be uh, it has to be stopped before it explodes uh, but this time it's on a train and not on the bus and uh, the sci-fi element of um, it's very much like Groundhog Day where an incident happens and then it goes back to the start again to all start all over again it's got a really great action scene throughout this film and a great sci-fi element and I believe uh, Jake Lee Nahol gives a great performance as the leading character in this film. So you're introduced to Jake Lee Nahol character who's a soldier and he's on this mission to stop this bomb. But always not that meets the eye and uh, there's a very uh, lot of science fiction elements to this film which is a bit hard to describe without dis uh, spoiling the story. But as I say, this the great sci-fi element of the sort of Grand Groundhog Day effect um, really captures you in and uh, there's not all that meets the eye to this film and uh, storyline as well and it's really good how the Jake Gyllenhaal uh, sort of becomes a detective in to try and find out what elements happen each time and how he can correct himself and uh, the sort of story of what's going on with him personally as well and why is he in this situation as I said I feel this is a very underrated film and I do recommend people checking this one out because I believe people, not a lot of people, got to saw this film in 2011. As I said, this was my favourite film of 2011, and it's just one of them films I could watch any day. It just really captures you in with a story and a great performance from the characters. Also in this film is uh, Michelle Monaghan and Verna Fermer. I can't know if I pronounce that right. It's uh, V E R A F A R M I G A. Uh, who's recently been in The Conjuring. And they just do give two great performances as well. Uh, Michelle Monaghan being a love interest to uh, Jake Jean Hull's character. And uh, Vera uh, Fernand uh, being the person who he has to take orders from. Uh, it's, i say, a really great film. And um, it's definitely worth a watch. I uh, apologise for the short review and my voice this week. I'm not feeling the best today. And um, I just wanted to get this video out to... Uh, Spread the love about Source Code as I feel so highly about this film. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a great weekend. I've been Big Hour 1982 and all the best to you.